I wanted to welcome you to our Hawks Talon GC virtual event and Q&A. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Like, like the main thing is nutrition and sleep, you know, and posture. Uh, it, those are three things that in our sport is really important. You know, they're, they're sitting around. They're not as active in this sport because they're sitting in one spot playing a video game. So they're, they're able to uh, bring us in, you know, when things are normal, we're able to go to the center and actually work on some different exercises and stretches and different routines that can help with posture. Um, like, like Dr. Wright mentioned, they're able to take us to, you know, the grocery store and show these guys how they can get some healthier snacks. So, and then, you know, talking to them about um, sleep schedule, you know, because a lot, you know, in, in this sport, a lot of times we, we work some weird hours, you know, we, we play, we may play the game from 9 a.m. to 4.30 in the morning. So, it's, you know, it's about getting some, some balance. So they're able to help us out in those areas. And it's, it's really, it's really been beneficial to us. For those of you who live in Buckhead, last year, Lauren actually physically took the talons to the grocery store across the street because, you know, these athletes are young people. They have not, maybe not had a lot of chance to really do this nutrition thing on their own. So if you go over to the grocery store right across the street there from our performance center in Buckhead, you may just see the Talons and Lauren shopping together and figuring out how to fuel their best performance. But it's a, it's a wonderful thing to watch. And I hope going forward, Wes, that as the team continues to be so successful, that if you need us, we could always help you with, with thinking through that, that uh, sleep. The other thing that I loved what you said, Wes, was that it is the ritual and, the, and almost the ceremony that is so prevalent in traditional sports that will is so important in this arena of sports too, because all those crazy superstitions and we do everything at the same time every day, that actually is scientifically proven to increase performance. So all those approaches, I just love hearing that you're doing that. So. It's tougher, I was speaking with a client yesterday, that when you're in the office, you have the opportunity to stand up and walk down the hall to talk to a coworker or walk to the break room. And you're at your home office, you're not getting up and out of your chair as often to do that. So whether it's setting a timer on your phone or saying every hour on the hour, I'm gonna stand up and take a lap around the house, or when you start your Zoom call with your team, everybody do mobility work together for the first two minutes. Uh, building a consistent practice to make sure that we're not just stuck staring at the computer for eight hours or, or longer. In our food, just as we need it in everything else. So finding ways that we can make their food a little bit healthier, a little bit more nutritious. So, you know, whether it is going to the grocery store, and that is something that we do. You know, we I take the, the team to the grocery store, we look through that, the food that's available to them. Um, what are their skills too? So are they able to cook? Do they know how to cook? Or do we need to look at some of those convenience meals too? So things like um, already grilled chicken breasts are an easy option that can be a, a, a great part of, of a diet overall. Frozen vegetables that they can heat up quickly. Um, making those foods convenient is definitely a big thing. Um, and then I think the other side of it too is, you know, fast food and eating at restaurants is a big part of our lifestyle. And how do we make that a little bit healthier? So being in it doesn't mean that we don't still struggle with that. You know, like you said, Annie, I too often find myself hunched over the computer or playing for too long or working too long. So all these reminders are important. But uh, if nothing else, I would encourage all parents who have uh, children in their home who are do participating in this, especially while they're home with COVID-19, to ask about the games, get involved, maybe even play the game. You don't have to necessarily be good at it, but involve yourself and understand the game uh, and reach out and be part of this.